guys. Now the canoe reveals where Alba Kiari was taken to. News has just filtered in and um, it's reporting that um, Nam the Kano has revealed where Abakiari has been allegedly taken to. Uh, you know, it was reported recently that um, Abakiari and President Muhammad Buhari have been flown out of the country secretly in a bid to get treatment for the coronavirus uh, issue. Abakiari was confirmed to have tested positive to the virus. But President Muhammad Buhari's results was not actually revealed at some point. And at some point, it was said that he was negative, that he tested negative. So uh, probably he could have tested positive, but they are reporting the fact that he tested negative as a result to keep his um, status secret. Because if it is reported pos that he tested positive, probably the uproar among Nigerian citizens, it's going to um, become an issue. It's going to be worrisome. So probably that is the reason why they have um, hid, uh, hid his um, status or declined to uh, affirm that he is he tested positive. Many, so uh, many individuals or individuals have come out to say that it's a lie that the presidency is hiding something, and uh, some believe that the president is positive uh, because. His right hand man, the chief of staff, Abba Kiari, tested positive. So, be that as it may, Nambekano has now revealed where he was taken to. So, guys, Nambekano has just revealed that Abba Kiari has been scampered to Cuba. So, if Cuba is where Abba Kiari has been taken to, then where, uh, where has um, President Mohamed Buhari been taken to? Probably the UK or London, that is in London, where he normally goes for treatment. But be that as it may, we all know that Namdekano always has a knack for um, making revelations and um, revealing things that uh, we many people do not know. Just like he revealed and uh, stated that um, the man in Nasarok is not Buhari but Jibril from Al Sudan, which to uh, some extent a, a wide range of people have come to agree and accept that Namdekano is right and correct based on the happenings that have been going on in the country and around Buhari as he has refused to address Nigerians and um, even his last address, you know, which people refuse to believe because it lasted less than 30 seconds and people refuse to accept that as an address. And people have been calling for Buhari to address the nation just like other world leaders and presidents of other nations have been addressing their citizens since the wake of this uh, uh, COVID-19 um, pandemic. All right. Femi Fani Kayade has also come out to say that you won't last 30 seconds on live video broadcast. The Femi, Femi Fani Kayade support Nigerian youths. The former Minister of Aviation backed Nigerian youths in the call for the president to readdress the nation and organize a press briefing like the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, on the outbreak of the coronavirus. The former Minister of Aviation, who served during former President Goodluck Jonathan's regime, also said, I urge President Buhari to conduct a live TV broadcast to assure the Nigerian people that he is well and that he has not fled our shores to seek medical treatment elsewhere. The rumors are heartbreaking and disheartening. We deserve to be reassured that we have not been abandoned midstream. That is what Femi Fanika already tweeted this morning. Oh, sorry, last night, I beg to say. So, guys, it's what it is at the moment. Reactions are trailing the fact that uh, the president has fled the country, but, the, you know, nobody knows what is actually on ground. Though his handlers have debunked the story saying that he's not true, that it's not true that he's in the Asso Rock and he's in his office, but there are no uh, evidence to back up their claims. I thought it wasn't Buhari in Asorok. Why are you calling for Buhari to do video broadcasts for you? You and Nam the Kano will get tried one day. This is a reaction for, for people, you know, concerning this particular um, story. Someone that, ca that couldn't last 30 seconds on a pre-recorded broadcast should come and do live broadcasts. You can see what people are saying concerning their call for Buhari to readdress Nigerians on a live broadcast. So people are saying that somebody that couldn't last 30 seconds on a pre-recorded broadcast. So you can see now that 
people are not easily fooled anymore people are believing that that first video or uh, that was released less than 30 seconds you know was a doctored video uh and wasn't um the the true um or was it a, re a recorded video of uh, uh, buhari it was just a doctored video of a recording that he had done before you understand so they had to infuse the voice and all what have you to deceive nigerians that is what so many people are believing that that recording is so they are not believing that it's a new video so they are calling nigerians are now calling for buhari to readdress the nation so will he readdress the nation we don't know it cannot be said so that is why this man says he says someone that couldn't last 30 seconds on a pre-recorded video or a pre-recorded broadcast should come and do live broadcast can he is it possible the answer is no Another person re uh, replying to um, Femi Fani Kayode, Baruch Zoe Boniface, I thought it wasn't Buhari in Asorok. Why are you calling for Buhari to do video broadcasts for you? You and Nam the Kano will get tried one day. So this is what uh, Boniface Zoe is saying that um, uh, he thought that Buhari is not the one in the you know Asorok. So why are they now calling for, why is Femi Fani Kayode calling for Buhari to do a live video? that himself and Nam the Kano will get tried basically for alleging that um, the person in Asorok is not Buhari. Well, he is entitled to his opinion and, um, you know, he has a right to uh, feel the way he feels. All right, guys. He said, his issue is Buhari is irresponsible and he can't stomach it. You two tell Buhari to be responsible and live up to his constitutional duties or should he be earning taxpayers' money without working? Sir, Governor Sawalu is our president now because he is doing the work of Mr. President. Well, be that as it may, that's another opinion by Dino Dino Desmond, you know, that um, Buhari is acting irresponsible. He's not working, but he's earning taxpayers' money. That's what people are saying. Another person, Mazi at Festos Green, says, If Buhari had any integrity, he would have turned down the temptations of a second term in office. He would have preferred the comfort of his family and friends. He would have shelved the pressure of being president. This is very true. If he had integrity and knew that he couldn't um, face it based on his health status and all worth a view, he ought to have actually stepped down and uh, declined running uh, the second term. But because of the pressure from his handlers and those close to him, he yielded to the pressure to contest the second term. And uh, how are we even sure, you know, that it was actually him that contested the second term election? Well, all these are uh, it sure is all these are um, all these are how do I put it now all these are just um, they are not really facts or because there are no evidence to back them up but they still are, are theories that people or imaginations of people or what people are thinking and uh, to some extent it has become rumors and you know there's this saying that uh, in every rumor there's an iota of truth so nobody knows what is going on the presidency is not making things easy for the populace because they are not releasing information and they are not speaking the truth but also many people believe that they are not speaking the truth so that is the situation of things and it's saddening that a country like nigeria with close to 200 million or over 200 million you know people you know is going through this difficult and um, situation with the government where Issues like this shouldn't actually be a problem. So somebody says, sure, at Muhammad Buhari has taken Ben Johnson with Abakiari, the manipulator. The British Airways that landed in Lagos a few days ago is the suspect. Niger is with no leader now at Nigerian governor, at Nigerian president. Though, for some years now, what we have is presidency. So you can see somebody saying that Nigeria has, did, does not have a president. What Nigeria has is presidency. So if you really look at what this young man is trying to interpret, meaning that there has not been, Nigeria does not have a president. 
it has been presidency, 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 presidency. So those who is who can be referred to as presidency, the handlers of the president, those who are working with the president, those who release information concerning the president, those who act on behalf of the president. So you can see what Nigeria actually has is presidency and not president. So it's sad that that is the situation of things at the moment. Guys, these are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story. What are your thoughts? Can you drop by the comment section? Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And uh, I'll see you on the other news. Thank you.